All right, we've got Idaho head coach Don Verlin and Idaho student athletes Kyle Barone and Connor Hill. The coach will make an opening comment, then we'll take some questions. Well, obviously, it's tough when it ends, no question about it, especially when you've coached a guy like the guy on my right here and, and the guy on second down on my right, too. But it's always hard for the seniors because we've had four seniors that have really given a lot to this program. So. I thought tonight New Mexico State uh, just wore us down uh, with their pressure and their athleticism there in the second half. We just, we just ran out of gas, and, and uh, you got to give the credit to them. I thought when they needed to make the plays at the end of the shot clock, I thought they did that. I thought Banjasai was really good in the second half, and Daniel Mullins, we, we couldn't keep him in front of us. So I thought we did some really good things uh, in this basketball game. Uh, we, we did a, a nice job on Sim Bular, better than we've done any time we've played him. And, and I felt like we had the game at our, our tempo, but just too many turnovers, too many easy baskets, uh, uh, which, which led to us getting beat tonight. We'll take some questions. Coach, were you, were you um, surprised by their press and as much as they played zone tonight? I was not surprised by the zone at all. Um, I thought they, they would play it a little bit, a little bit by the press, but we've been pressed a lot this year. Um, we didn't handle it as well as we had been, but uh, uh, not really. Uh, Marvin's done that quite a bit through the years, uh, you know, played his 22 press back to his two zone, and, and um, it, that, it, that didn't surprise me as, as much. Um, you know, they're a little shorthanded without Watson, so, um, you know, I, we, we kind of figured they might do something like that. We, we, they played pretty much how we thought they were going to play. Don, I know the foul trouble in the first half might have made it a little difficult, but did you want to go to Kyle maybe a, a little more than, than you did? Well, you always like to get the player of the year more than 10 shots, so we didn't do a good enough job getting him the ball. That's, that's for sure. We, we were hampered a little bit there by foul trouble, but I thought we got, got to halftime in good shape. We were able to get, get him to, to, the, to the break with only two fouls. Um, you know, we needed to get him a few more shots. Uh, their, their defense, um, you know, was, was pretty good, and, and we, didn't, we weren't able to get Kyle enough shots. I mean, he goes eight for 10 and has 19 points. Uh, and three for three from the foul line. It's you know it's a pretty good night if you're a normal guy, but if you're Kyle Brown, it's an average night. So uh, we we needed to get him the ball a little bit more, and and um, uh, we didn't do a good enough job of that. No question about it. In the back. Don, going into next year, losing you know some key seniors and, and Kyle and, and Mike. Can you just? Maybe assess the program and where you think you are with it right now. Well, you know, it's if you look at my five years since we've been here, it's it's the the winningest five years in thirty years of Idaho in the last thirty years of Idaho basketball. So I think it's in good shape. Yeah, we lose some some you know some guys that are that are huge in this program. But we've lost guys every year in the program. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, Kyle's Player of the Year, uh, Mansa Habib and Mike McChristian both were solid players as well as Wendell Faines. Uh, you're going to lose guys, and that's what happens. But, you know, we've got Connor Hill back, and we got uh, Stephen Madison back, and Rob Harris and Denzel Douglas. we we got guys back, Ty Egbert's red shirt. And so, um, you know, I think the program's in good shape. Uh, you know, I, I judge it maybe differently than you guys do is, you know, obviously wins are really important, and we've had a good run of that. We've been in the postseason three out of five years, and the one thing I'll tell you is all of our seniors are graduating. And, um, you know, I think that's what it's supposed to be all about. Coach Wallace is standing there in the back. And I, if I'm not mistaken, one time in a press conference, he asked that question. It's important that you graduate, guys, isn't it, Coach? Hey, Kyle, this question's for you. Um, has it hit you yet that you've played your final game for Idaho? Um, a little bit. Uh, it hurts right now knowing that I'm not going to be able to play again. Uh, and I thought, you know, this year we had a good enough team to make a run at this tournament. but. Uh, like Coach said, they kind of just wore us out at the end, there at the end of the second half, and uh, we weren't scoring and we weren't stopping them, and it's hard to win when you do that. Any other questions? Connor, just how hard was it to navigate their, their press and their trapping and everything? Uh, well, their press, um, it was good. They're active. They have, they have Cy, who's long. They have Bowen, who's long. Um, it bothered me and it bothered uh, um, us, I felt like, but um, 
we definitely could have done a better job of that. And uh, it's just something to work on for next year and just keep getting better. So, Anything else? All right, thanks, you guys. Thank you.